Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, December 28th, 2023, Ukraine update. I did the Israeli update uh, talking about how the uh, genocide is taking place in Gaza. Uh, I mean, we're up to, what, uh, 10,000 dead kids, uh, 25,000 civilians, uh, 5,000 women, plus uh, the equivalent of two nuclear bombs dropped there. Be sure and watch my video on that. By the way, rated 18 plus on uh, YouTube, so I'm sure it'll get a limited amount, even though they're already throttled there, so nobody's going to watch it anyway. But let's get into the Russia update. So Russia's about to take Avdivka. They already took Marinka, and uh, this means that the Donbass city is uh, going to be protected. Now, if you look back in history, when... Uh, Victoria Nuland and the, and the Obama administration overthrew the uh, Russian-friendly government in Ukraine. Uh, the, the Nazis that were, uh, or the, sent, uh, the Banderas uh, element of Ukraine took over and they started bombing uh, the Donbass. And, uh, and it went on for many, many, eight years. And so there was a civil war a lot of people don't understand this in the United States. There was a civil war that was taking place in Ukraine. And, of course, Russia was on the side of the Donbass because those are mostly Russian-speaking uh, people. And, uh, and so, but, you know, Russia said, you know, they were willing to keep it part of Ukraine. If you look back on the treaty that would have taken place in March of 2022, they just wanted a ceasefire and say, look, you know, you have to respect the fact that Half of your country speaks Russian and wants, you know, more or less good relations with Russia. Well, the West wouldn't go along with that. Oh, hell no. But all right, let's, let's just not get into the history. So the, the next thing is the, um, uh, well, we got the Iraqi bases that are under fire <laughs> in Syria and Iraq. I told you that was going to happen. I mean, we're there illegally. What, do the American people understand anything? We're all zombies or something. I mean, if, if, if Russia had a base in the United States, do you think that we would want that here? No. We got a U.S. base in Iraq. Do you think the Iraqis want us in, with a base in Iraq? How about Syria? And Trump admitted it. We're stealing their oil. Do you think we want a base in Syria? So guess what? Now that the world is a-changing and it's becoming a bipolar world, Ah, uh, there's going to be a lot of dead Americans on those bases. Just telling you that right now. So uh, the next thing was the mobilization that's taking place in Ukraine on steroids. Oh, my God. I, I've been watching these videos. And these uh, uh, Ukraine... I, I can't imagine doing this. Would you do this? I mean, suppose that your government told you, go out and grab your neighbor who's 70 years old throw him in a van, put a weapon in his, in his hands, and tell him he's got to go to the front lines and die for your, your country. I would say you're out of your freaking mind. There's no way I'm going to do that. I mean, I, but that's what's taking place in Ukraine. And it's not just the 70-year-olds. It's the 17-year-olds, 20-year-olds, you know, college students. They're grabbing them off the streets. And there's all kinds of videos. And I, I, I'm very proud of the women. The women are the ones that are beating the hell out of these guys saying, you're not taking my man. You're not taking my man. <laughs> you got to watch it. I mean, well, I'm sure that most Americans don't have a clue. So uh, let's see. Let's get. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, this was a crazy one. The Iraq commander was killed in Syria and uh, Iran. I mean, I shouldn't say Iran. It was the Iran commander was killed in Syria, Damascus. And Iran says retaliation will happen. I mean, we well, Trump killed Soleimani, and he was very proud of that. I guess that he was listening to the neocons, and uh, and I don't know. I, maybe Soleimani was responsible for a lot of the IEDs uh, that existed. It was war at that time, uh, and you know that's just party part of your job. Uh, but I mean. Now that uh, Israel has killed this, uh, this commander in Syria, I don't know, man. We'll, we're going to see where this goes. Now, I did see where a, 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 off, a high-ranking officer in Israel died, and I couldn't find the tweet on that, and I apologize. Uh, so that could have been the retaliation. So maybe this thing's going to die at that point. 
Well, I guess uh, the, the, the first video I want you to watch, uh, let's get the most disturbing video out of the way. This is a, a Ukraine cemetery. And you know what? I got to give the Ukrainians credit because if you look at it, there's a lot of uh, monuments to the soldiers. And uh, it just kind of shows you the number of Ukrainians that have died in this war. Let's watch that video. Могу ли я це просто сейчас пройти? Як, як вообще у кого языки поправчуть? Люди, отдумайтесь, фану в 10 раз больше. И это одно из, одно из кладбищ Харькова. Их куча. Дуже багато, великий город, дуже багато кладбищ. Подивіться. Настолько жутко эти влаги тут, что на... Видите? Вы вообще видите эти масштабы? Видите, сколько хлопцев. Рейки с другим отсюда, а я не пойму. Сколько можно посадить такую выду? Попробуем так пройти, чтобы просто подпилось. Я не знаю, где тут конец, где тут кровать. Моя честно голова крутится. Я не знаю, я слышу обойти. Просто так. Я просто восьмый год, пацаны. Восемьдесят третий. Боже, вообще. Две тысячи первый. Вот. Yeah, that was terrible, wasn't it? Oh my God. I, I, uh, I, I, and I'm sure that all I'm going to get is a little grave marker here in, in Florida because I'm going to the veteran seminary, cemetery here in Florida uh, when I die. Um, I've got some other good video. Uh, this, is, uh, this is very interesting because, you know, war is taking on a whole new aspect, uh, if you didn't understand. You know, it used to be we'd have these huge tank battles or back in World War II or, or uh, the Blitzkrieg where the Germans came across. You know, nowadays it's, uh, it's more about drone warfare and, and you know, uh, small units of, of soldiers going in because uh, the enemy has eyes in the air and you got eyes in the air. And it's all about electronic warfare, which is what I was. I was an electronic warfare technician in the Air Force. And so I found it all very fascinating, and I wanted to show you this uh, video of, of a Russian shooting down a drone. Let's watch that. Wasn't that interesting? That was crazy. And uh, and then, of course, we get into the... Um, uh, I had a... a uh, uh, X tweet on all the new Russian hardware because they are really advancing their hardware uh, and by leaps and bounds. I don't see how the United States 
military-industrial complex is going to be able to sell weapons around the world anymore when Russia is going to offer up all their new weapons because they're they're battle-tested and they're, and they're doing it against... Well, they've already defeated all the NATO weapons. I mean, so so what has the U.S. military-industrial complex got to offer the world? I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you tell me. But this is a Russian T-80 BVM tank in action. that cool and uh and so then we got the uh, msta-b howitzers i uh, the gods of war as russia likes to call them and i just pulled all these clips out i just thought it'd be fun to watch some of the russian hardware let's watch that <laughs> And then last, uh, well, actually, um, here's the Russian MLRS uh, military launch rocket system in action. Let's look at that. And you know what? I'll finish off with the uh, probably the most least interesting video. I just want to make sure uh, there's nothing else that I missed. Okay, well, yeah, and of course, I, I did point this out in my previous uh, tweet. Was Yemen is only blocking ships going to Israel. So the West are the true enemies of the world. And that's what they said. The West is the true enemies of the world. So they're, they're you know... Or uh, Israel is right now, but they said if the West come, you know, blow, drops bombs in Yemen, they're going against the West. So I, one of the things that I don't think the zombie American people understand is that Russia is a Christian nation, and uh, I just wanted to show you what happens before the Russian soldiers go out into battle, uh, because it's an Orthodox Christian, and you know what? I, I do want to investigate that religion. I might consider being an Orthodox Christian here in the United States. But Russian priests blessing soldiers. Символ веры, знаете, смотрите, вы, может быть, и наизусть, но слышали, ждать, читали там. Если мы живем, как православные христиане, 
Мы молимся, да? Пресвятие Владычицы нашей Богородицы, с умилением сердец наших, помолимся. Пресвятая Богородица, спаси нас. Десантников на поле брали сущих, укрепи их дух, утверди в заповедях Сына Твоего. Во всех войнах, во всех войнах наших. Господу помолимся, Господи помилуй, Ты ныне пресно, и во веки веков. Так, при этом доступ всех информации есть. Церковь, сатаны, братья, все, зло уже даже перестало скрываться, оно вышло наружу, и в открытую нам противостоит. Если вы видите, что человек где-то в чем-то падает немного, вы его поддержите и точно так же покажите ему свою любовь, чтобы он эту любовь почувствовал и точно так же понес ее дальше. Господь да научится, Господь да образуется, Господь да поможет всем. Николай, Николай, Чесный Тилдой Господу, Бога спас наш Иисус Христа. Прощайте, Евгений, Чесный Тилдой Господу, Бога спас. Когда вот какие-то такие сложные места, на сложные позиции прибывают, Wasn't that interesting? Peace out. Stay free. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.